Hello, I'm Joe from Germany and I'm very happy that you are here today to watch some of my content. Today I want to dive a little bit into the bash rc file. This is the configuration file for bash, the language of your terminal. So if you don't use bash, for example, if you use zsh or uh, let's say fish, the bash rc is completely worthless for you and you can stop watching the video right now. But if you use bash as I do because I use Debian, uh, Debian Bullseye, yeah, the bash rc is your configuration file to edit all what happens in your terminal. So you can open the bash rc file with any text editor. I personally now in this video use nano because nano is included in almost every Linux distribution. But you can also use Gedit or Vim or Emacs or whatever you like. It's all the same. You can edit the configuration file with any text editor. So the bash rc file is in your home folder. It's a hidden file. So if you want to open it here in the terminal, I type nano, this is the text editor, and then a dot bash rc. So this opens the bash rc because it's a hidden file. So this is a nano. This might look different in your text editor because there are some colors here uh, included. Maybe you use a distribution that have pre-configured colors or something like that. So there are some distributions out there which don't use any pre-configured bash rc. There's nothing in, only black and white or something like that. That's also okay. You can configure it by yourself. But now let's have a look what comes with Debian 11 Bullseye. Now here you see the, the lines with the hash in front of that. that is no um, command or something like that. Uh, this is only an explanation for what is in this file. So you have many uh, lines like this. Here is a hash, here is a hash, here is a hash. And here are the commands without the hash. So uh, let's have a look what's in there. Uh, here is, for example, the history size. Um, it's 1000. That means that there are 1000 commands you used in your terminal stored. And so you can uh, revisit them with uh, the arrow keys. If you don't want to have 1000 commands here, you can uh, change it and say, okay, I want 500 or I want 200 or I want 2000. That's not a problem. Here I want to show you the aliases. So it's down there. Here is one example. You see alias ll is ls dash l. That means if you don't want to type ls dash l, you can type instead ll that this is shorter so this makes not a, a big difference in this case but imagine you have a very long command you always use you use every day you can um, configure an alias to have it very short for example i uh, use the alias up that means for me update and uh, my command is sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade. So two commands in one um, in, in short is up. So here is the alias. But uh, you see here is a hash. So this alias in the moment does not work. If I delete the hash and uh, save the file, then the ll does work in the future.
but I don't want to change that. Now, uh, if you want to save here anything in Nano, you use uh, Control and O. You can read that here, write out. This is Control O. That means you save the file. Uh, you don't uh, need a sudo or something like that because it's in your personal folder, it's in your home folder, so the file belongs to you. So that's all. If you change something in this uh, file, I would recommend that you make a copy first because or write down uh, everything you do because there is a, a chance that you might uh, destroy something if you make any mistakes in here and this would not be good. So if you have a copy of this file, uh, it's not a problem because you can come back to the original file whenever you like. So um, here you see if um, bashalizes then bashalizes this line here, that means you don't have to put your aliases uh, here in this file. You can put them all in a new file that's called bash aliases. If the bash aliases file is not on your computer yet in your home folder, you have to create it first, yes, uh, with touch. So uh, I show you that afterwards. So you can write that down, um, all your lices into this file. This file is empty at the beginning because it's new. And so you don't have to uh, write down the lices here into the bash RC. Instead of that, you can uh, write them down in your bash aliases. And uh, this command uh, tells Bash that if a Bash aliases exists, it uh, should open Bash aliases. If it doesn't exist because you forgot to create it, well, this uh, command is worthless. So, but you can do more with your um, a configuration um, a file here. For example, if you want to uh, have a, a special application uh, that should start anytime you open a terminal, for example, screen fetch, you go to the last line here, last line, I said, okay, and then you write screen fetch. So uh, that means every time you open a terminal, the application screen fetch, which is a terminal application, will start and will show you. Now I say that control O oh, uh, file name to write. Yes, I, I want to have the same name uh, dot uh, bash rc enter and now a screen fetch will open. Uh, the next time. So uh, now exit with uh, control X. So I'm out. Now, um, well, I clear the whole thing and now I will open a new terminal. So now uh, let's look, let's have a look what happens. Uh, screen fetch not found. Yes. This is because I uh, have to install ScreenFetch before I include it into the bash RC file. Let's do that now. sudo apt install ScreenFetch. All right. My password. Now, yes, I want to install that. So now we try again. Takes a little time and then here we have screen fetch. So screen fetch is an application that shows you something about your system. 
uh, here, for example, OS, the operating system, is Debian 11. Then we have um, the CPU, the disk. Um, here, the desktop environment. In my case, it's GNOME. So, very interesting. Uh, if you like it, uh, if you don't like it, uh, no problem. Uh, I, I don't use it anymore because I know what um, <laughs> CPU I have and uh, how many RAM I can use and, and so on and so forth. So, for me, it's uh, not necessary. But if you like something like that, uh, just write it into your uh, bash RC. But this is only possible uh, for uh, terminal programs, not for graphical programs. Well, let's do something different. Uh, let's open the text editor again with the bash rc, again nano dot bash rc. So here is dash rc. And let's see, I want to delete this again. And write down echo hey Joe that's me that means every time I will open the terminal in the future well the terminal will say hey Joe let's have a look at this well here we go that's hey Joe and then the command line so uh, this is a very short introduction to the bash rc you can do much more with this configuration file this uh, is only uh, a little teaser of that because you can configure all you like if you know something about the bash language is a very good tool that you can uh, configure your own um, um, bash rc for example you can say okay this hey joe is white but i want it blue or i want it green yeah you can do that that's not a problem uh, so i hope you like the video and if i made any mistakes in wording in grammar in pronunciation please um forgive me that i'm so sorry i'm from germany i do my best to tell you something about uh, my passion, about my love to Linux. I hope you love the channel. I hope you like the video. If you do, please uh, leave a, a subscription for me, a, a thumb up and comment uh, because I want to get in touch with you. I want to discuss with you. Um, okay, enough of that. Bye-bye.